Sairam children, we were discussing lesson number 15, the environment. So, the natural surrounding in which a living organism lives or survives is called its environment. And the natural surrounding, the study of animals or uh, study of organisms in their natural surrounding is called as ecology. And the scientists who study about ecology are called as ecologists. We have also discussed that human beings have made many changes or have altered the environment for their benefit. That is how they have done uh, the alterations by cutting down the trees, by hunting animals, by disposing of waste into water bodies, soil, etc. which has, which has caused serial envi uh, serious environmental problems and it has also led to pollution of air, water and soil. In the previous session, we have discussed that what is pollution? The mixture of unwanted substances, harmful substances, when they mix with the environment, they cause pollution of the environment. Today, we are going to discuss about types of pollution in detail. Now, water pollution. Children, we have already discussed and you know that how the water gets polluted. Yes, when the unwanted substances, when the contaminants, when the dirty things get, get mixed into the water, the water gets polluted. Now the question is from where does this unwanted substances or impurities or contamination they come into the water. The water that we use at home that is that is called as sewage. When this sewage is the water that is a dirty water that may contain uh, that contain feces, germs and other waste, uh, chemicals that used uh, that is uh, that also contains the uh, various chemicals. Now when the sewage water it gets mixed with the stream or water stream or the fresh water then it pollutes the water. There are other also uh, other things are also responsible for the pollution of water like when the waste from factories, waste from hospitals, agricultural waste. Yes, whenever these waste they get mixed into the water bodies they pollute the water. Water pollution occurs when harmful substances often chemicals or microorganisms for example the waste from hospitals may have germs or microorganisms when it is left into the water bodies contaminates the water it contaminates stream river lake ocean or other water bodies oil spill is also one of the reason of uh, contamination or pollution of water now oil spills means uh, the oil that is that gets spilled from the ship which uh, travel in the water bodies. Now degrading what, what happens to the water? It degrades the quality of water. The quality of water become bad. It is no longer fit for our use or fit for drinking. So drinking water that is polluted with sewage contains germs. See, uh, that uh, The water that is that goes out from our house that is called as sewage. It may contain germs. Drinking this water can cause diseases such as dysentery, jaundice or typhoid. We, if you consume the water that is dirty, it may cause two diseases. These diseases are waterborne diseases like dysentery, jaundice or typhoid. Waste from factories contains poisonous substances. Now the waste from factories is also let into the water bodies. And these factories, the waste from the factories contain, may contain many poisonous substances which will harm the animals which are aquatic animals and plants which are there in the water. Also if we consume this water we may fall ill or even if we eat the animals we, uh, which, have, which are there in this water it will also uh, affect our health. The fishes and other water animals get killed, they get affected by this water. We can also fall ill if we drink this water or eat the fish that is affected by it. This is uh, the picture of pollution of water. See how water is getting polluted by sowing through much, uh, by throwing garbage from getting waste from factories, houses and sewage. When it is let into the water bodies, it pollutes the water. Now causes of water pollution are industrial 
water pollution when the pollu uh, when the factories and other industries when the waste from these factories and industries are let into the stream of uh, water or let into the water bodies it causes the pollution waste from the homes of course when we have discussed the sewage when it is let into the water bodies it contaminates the water as it contains many chem uh, chemicals and germs which contaminates the water agricultural waste see in agriculture children there are so many uh, chemicals called pesticides and weedicides are used pesticides and weedicides are the chemicals which are used uh, to kill the pests and weeds these chemicals are sprayed on the plants and when it rains these chemicals get mixed with the rain water and it uh, mixes with the soil and that soil uh, it and, uh, and when it rains it goes in the ground water it get mixes with the ground water in this way uh, the agriculture is also responsible the agricultural sector is also responsible for the pollution of water in this way ground water gets polluted now soil pollution children uh, we know that when substances like plastic and chemicals are allowed to let into the soil they, when they mix with the soil they pollute the soil soil pollution is caused by the presence of chemicals or other alterations in the natural soil environment it is typically caused by industrial activity agricultural chemicals or improper disposal of waste now disposal of waste again from our homes from factories from uh, hospitals when we dispose of the waste from these places into the soil see so many waste are there that they do not degrade they do not rot and mix into the soil they lay there for hundreds of years and they pollute the soil they decrease the fertility of soil again any chemicals from the factories when it is uh, allowed to mix with the soil it causes the soil to become un, uh, infertile the soil becomes infertile so this causes the pollution of soil soil and la uh, land pollution farmers use chemicals to kill weeds and insects they also use fertilizers to grow more crops the fertilizers are used to improve the yield but they use, when too much of fertilizer or chemicals are used the soil gets polluted when it rains uh, as i told these chemicals gets mixed with the rain water and goes into the water which is called as ground water it is it gets washed into the wells rivers and lakes and poison the drinking water because that when it gets drink uh, mixed with the drinking water it it poisons or harms the drinking water poisonous waste from factories is also sometimes buried in the land and it pollutes it because when it uh, when it rains the water go, uh, gets into the ground water it gets mixed with the water or also it flows into the water bodies so in this way it uh, harms the water uh, sorry land the pesticides are substances or mixture of substances that are used to kill or slow down inhibit the growth of pests the excessive use of pesticides destroy the nutrients in the soil as i told that the chemicals used by farmers to kill the pests and weeds when they are used in too much quantity they destroy the fertility of soil too much fertilizers can also decrease the soil fertility and the health of the human being are also affected is also affected when we consume the vegetables fruits which are having so many pesticides uh, or which are sprayed with too much pesticides and uh, so many fertilizers are used to grow the crops that are not good for our health that's why people are moving towards you must have heard this uh, term organic organic means uh, manure is used fertilizers are not used the chemicals are not used to grow the crops so in this way the uh, soil is getting polluted because of uh, agricultural practices like using pesticides and fertilizers because of waste from our homes hospitals factories etc when it is let into the soil when we throw away solid waste such as plastic bottles plastic bags glass bottles old machine parts rubber tubes and tires and cans in the garbage dumps these cannot be easily destroyed you you, you know that they do not rot easily because they are non biodegradable and so they uh, does not rot for many hundred of years if plastic is burned it give out poisonous fumes poisonous gases which in turn causes 
air pollution so so many things are there which if uh, plastic for example it cannot be burned so we should use restrict the use of plastic we should not use plastic as it causes harm to our environment now this is the way in which industrial soil pollution means the waste from industries is let into the soil is allowed to flow into the soil which pollutes the soil now here again you uh, various pictures showing the pollution how the contaminants how the pollutants mix with the soil and pollute the soil and water excess use of fertilizers and use of pesticides when it is used by the farmers it also sol uh, pollute the soil and the water so children today we discussed about the pollution of water and pollution of soil in detail various ways in which the soil and water gets polluted so we should save our environment we should reduce uh, we should uh, stop using the practices which is uh, harming our environment and polluting our soil and water i hope you enjoyed the session i am going to end this session here